Okay, guys, we're starting our number talk. The first problem is 240 divided by 24. And you're gonna give me thumbs up if you have an answer and we'll take up to three answers. What do you have? 10. Maybe it's 10. So is any other answers? Okay, there's 100 and 12. Perfect. Okay, who wants to defend one of these answers? Go ahead. So she thinks it's 10. I think that because I used the multiplication to help me. Okay. 24 times 10, and that equals 240, and that time means it's 10. So she knew that if she had 240 as her dividend, she could make 10 groups of 24. And so I agree. Like, I can see that. So we know those would be too big. I'm, I'm convinced. Let's try the next one. What if you had a dividend of 264? and you were still trying to make groups of 24, how many groups could you make? All right, right here. Um, 18. Maybe 18. 11. Right here, 11. 12. And 12, okay. All right, so who wants to defend one of those answers? They're pretty confident that they can describe it. Yes? Uh, I'm going to defend 12. Okay. Um, because... You're, when you go from 240, then you can just add another 24. Okay. Yes. But then you get 264, so then that's going to be 11. So nice. That's perfect. So you started out defending 12, right? And in defending it, you realized that it made more sense, and that's exactly right. So we don't ever need to be like, describe, even if you're trying to defend an incorrect answer, lots of times that will bring you to the correct answer like just happened. Let's try 288 divided by 24. If I have that dividend, now how many groups of 24 can I make? Right here? 12. Maybe 12. Anyone else have a different answer? Yes? 24. 24. 13. 13. Okay, I got three answers. Who wants to defend one of those answers? I need to be convinced. Yes. I'm going to try to defend 12. Okay. So if I can look back at um, 264 and I add just 24, then that equals 188. Okay. So you, there's your other one. So I guess it was 10, 11, and then 12. Okay, so I'm convinced. The next one we have, we have two more, 576 divided by 24. If I have that larger dividend, now how many groups of 24 can I make? Okay, right here. 24. Maybe 24. Mm -hmm. 13. Maybe 13. Yep. Maybe 19. 19. Okay, who wants to defend one of those answers? Um, I'll try to defend 19. Okay. Um, so, so I look back at 288 and I added, oh, it would be, I think it would be 18. No, no. I didn't do, I didn't add enough. You didn't add enough, so you're thinking 19's not big enough, okay? Well, if 19's not big enough, then 13's probably not big enough either. So I wonder if 24 is the answer. 24 times 24 times 24 equals 500 <laughs> Yeah, well... Um, I don't know if anyone noticed that this doubled. Oh. And I'm still having the same amount. So I'm obviously, I'm going to be able to make twice as many groups. Yes. Yeah, there's usually a number talk, so there's usually a nice pattern like that. Yes. Let's try this one. Yeah. Maybe. One thousand one hundred fifty-two divided into groups of twenty-four. Go 
Got some thumbs already. Okay, what do you think? 52. Maybe 52. 48. Maybe 48. And that's all we have. Who wants to defend one of these two answers? Right here. I'll defend 48. Okay. So I noticed if you go back to 576 divided by 24, that 576 doubled. Okay. So that means the answer has to have to double. Since I have twice as much, so you must, I can make twice as many. I got you. Good. All right. That is our number talk for today. You did, guys did a great job. Thanks so much.